I've got a REST finishing toolpad on the screen, but the tool axis is not ideal at all. Here you can see excessive rotary axis motion as we go along this uneven edge on the part. Let's take a look at this on the machine tool. Lots of unnecessary C and A axis motion. Now, we could have used a tool axis from a curve to remove this problem. Um, but as we already have the toolpath, we can use tool axis editing. So, we're going to select the region of toolpath, define the region by a polygon, and select the region where we'd like to change the tool axis. That's fine. Then we're going to edit the tool axis in here. From lead lean, we're going to change it to be a fixed direction. Essentially, 3 plus 2 axis machining. There you can see I've displayed the tool axis. The arrow shows me the direction that the tool will be pointing in. Now I key in a blend distance because I don't want the tool axis to change over a very short uh, distance. So I've keyed in 3 millimeters for the blend to occur. The tool axis has been changed without the, the necessity of recreating the toolpath. There you can see, let's put this on the machine tool, we will see that the machine tool is not rotating its rotary axis as it moves along this undulating edge. So the tool axis is much better, but it's still not perfect. In the internal corner, I've got a very, very sharp change in tool axis direction and potentially a tool holder collision. Perhaps the user who created this toolpath didn't switch on automatic collision checking or automatic collision avoidance. Anyway, maybe he just forgot. Not a problem. We can use tool axis editing to solve this problem afterwards. So, we sketch a polygon around the region that we want to change. Now in this case, we're not going to give it a specific tool axis we're going to use what we call axis interpolation. This will make a blend between the start and end regions of the polygon where the toolpath enters it. Let's animate this toolpath around here now and you can see that we've increased the distance of the tool axis change enormously. No fear of colliding with the tool holder anymore and it's going to be much smoother kinematics on the machine tool. Just displaying the tool axis vectors you can see now the blend region more clearly. Very sharp changes in tool axis generally affect the surface quality and the rotary axis on most 5 axis machine tools is the slowest axis so this is why we try to avoid this circumstance.